Hi friends, Sarah here with Faithful Finish Lines. I run this group together with Becky and as I am recording this, it is the day before Thanksgiving. The year is 2020 and it feels like the whole world's gone a little bit crazy <laughs> with the quarantine, COVID, so many different things going on. Many of us are facing a very different holiday from what we normally experience. So I would love to hear from you in the comments. What's your Thanksgiving going to look like this year? Is it going to be the same? Is it going to be different? Is the food going to be the same? Is it going to be different? Is that going to make your weight loss challenges easier? Is it going to make them harder? Is it going to be a little bit of both? Um, our family is celebrating with just our family this year. Um, no extended family because of the quarantine. Um, Actually, I'm not even going to be able to go to church. Our youngest son was exposed to the virus. He does not have it, as far as we know, but a kid in his class was, so he's on quarantine for two weeks, and I'm at home with him. So um, so it's going to look really different for us. Um, my house smells really good right now. The day before Thanksgiving, my daughter and I always do our food prep, so let me see if I can show you a picture. I'm in my kitchen. There's like two pies that are cooling right now, a pumpkin and an apple pie, and she made keto muffins. She follows um, keto for epilepsy. And um, anyway, so my house smells really, really good right now. It really smells like Thanksgiving. So for me, I would say in some ways the food might be a little bit easier. We decided to simplify somewhat this year. I'm actually following an elimination diet right now for some um, stomach issues I'm having. My daughter does keto. My son, one of my sons, follows a low-protein diet. My husband has food allergies. Yeah, there's all these crazy things. So, so anyway, because it's just our family... We decided to keep it really simple. We're eating on paper plates. We're still going to have some yummy food, but it's just going to be not quite as tempting as previous years. So that's really good. On the other hand, it's a little bit more quiet, maybe sad, maybe, you know, it's easy to feel like a little bit more depressing, not seeing people that we would normally see. So in that way, that could make it harder. So I would love to hear from you in the comments. What is this Thanksgiving going to look like for you? And how is that going to affect you with your weight loss and your eating, your plans. So I've been maintaining my weight loss um, over 100 pounds for about 15 years now for a really long time. And I can tell you what my strategy was in the past. And this is even after I had lost 100 pounds. Okay, this was for years and years. This is my strategy. Nothing. Get back on track on Monday. <laughs> I basically went off um, maybe I would plan something in advance, but I sort of knew even when I was, I was planning it that I wasn't really going to follow it. Um, I would probably go for a walk or run in the morning, so that's good that I would do that or more meet a friend to go to the gym or something like that. So I had some physical activity in there. But other than that, and I would usually make, this is after I'd already lost weight, I would make some healthier options like, um, you know, like a, a pie, you know, made with Splenda or Stevia or like I've got a pumpkin fluff my family really likes, things like that, lighten up the gravy. But otherwise... Um, you know, I would keep the food. Um, I would I would end up doing the same eating, way overeating, drastically overeating, and then plan to get back on track on Monday. But the last few years, I have um, really worked on this with the holidays, improved my thoughts, my thinking, taken my thoughts captive to obey Christ, and now I go into it with a strategy. I certainly don't handle it perfectly. I still make mistakes, but I, for the most part, follow my strategy. So three strategies or three tips or ways that I follow this strategy that I would love for you to um, consider using for yourself. Number one is eat at your maintenance calories. We do not recommend that you try to lose weight on Thanksgiving Day. Now, on the one hand, it is just one day. On the other hand, you can do a lot of damage in one day. <laughs> I know I can do a tremendous amount of damage in one day. So we want you to do something. Don't do nothing, but you also don't have to be super strict to the point that you feel deprived and end up binging later. So go up to your maintenance calories. 
Now, if you did the seven day jumpstart your weight loss program with us, you saw in my fitness pal how to set your calories to losing just a half a pound a week. And um, for a lot of you, that was a really big step, but also really helpful because you saw that you could still incorporate treats. So we want you to take that same concept and just go into my fitness pal if you're using my fitness pal lose it whatever you're using and set it to maintenance calories and plan to eat at those calories just for the one day or even for the whole weekend if that's what you would prefer if you're using weight watchers you can go ahead and stick to your regular points just make sure you use all of your flex points you might use them all on thanksgiving day but over the course of that weekend so number one is eat at your maintenance calories. Your goal is to maintain your weight. Whatever your weight is today, let's plan that you want your goal to be that your weight will be that same weight on Monday. If you can do that, you're doing awesome. Or even like a week from now, because you might see some weight gain from fluid retention, from eating foods that you don't normally eat, more salt, but it doesn't necessarily mean a weight gain. So over the next week or two, you want to be at the exact same weight. So that's number one, eat at your maintenance calories. Number two, eat breakfast. Don't fast, don't go into the meal starving because you'll be so much more tempted to overeat. Eat a healthy breakfast with plenty of protein. I recommend 20 to 30 grams of protein at breakfast, which is actually quite a lot. So eat breakfast. And then number three, make a plan. What are you going to eat tomorrow on Thanksgiving? Is it going to be, what are you going to splurge on? Is it going to be pumpkin pie? Is it going to be ice cream? Is it going to be stuffing? Is it going to be um, green bean casserole? Is it going to be sweet potato casserole? Is it going to be a little bit of each? Is it going to be the dinner rolls and the um, cornbread? You can totally enjoy any of those things. You might not be able to enjoy all of those things, and you might not be able to enjoy all of them in the portions that you're used to, but you can absolutely enjoy your favorites. As you plan, this is a really good time to think about what's worth it to you and what's not worth it to you. So I just showed you the pies that were over there cooling. If it was me, um, I like pumpkin pie, but I don't love pumpkin pie. But the apple pie looks really good. So like that would be something that would be more worth it to me. Honestly, what might be the most is I like the whipped cream. So I might just have the whipped cream and skip the pie altogether. I love the sweet potatoes. So that's another one that's like totally worth it to me. But then there's other things like, eh, you know, I like it, but I don't like it that much. So I can skip it. So make a plan. I go ahead and go right into my fitness pal or Weight Watchers today and I put my plan in there so I've got it all set. The other big thing with making a plan is plan what you're going to do with leftovers. If you're going to have leftovers in the house, like I know I'm going to have a lot of leftovers in the house, what is my plan? So I go ahead and plan that on Friday I'm going to be eating some leftovers, but maybe not for every meal, maybe just for one meal or even two meals, but not for my breakfast. As much as a piece of pumpkin pie can be a good breakfast um, the day after Thanksgiving. I don't do that all the time. Don't worry. Um, and maybe you're going to put the leftovers out of sight. Maybe you're going to pack them up and get rid of them. Maybe you're going to cook less this year so you don't have a lot of leftovers. Maybe you're going to put things in the freezer. Um, whatever it is, just come up with a plan. Okay, so there's your three strategies for managing Thanksgiving. So it's eat at your maintenance calories. That's number one. So in the comments below, tell us what your maintenance calories are and so that we know that you calculated it and how you plan to eat at that tomorrow. Number two, make sure you eat breakfast. So tell us about what you're going to eat for breakfast tomorrow. And then number three, make a plan. So some kind of strategy or plan. Um, I go ahead and put everything right into my tracker and I make a plan and I make sure I make a plan for leftovers. Oh, the other thing I do with leftovers is we have a downstairs basement fridge they go in the fridge downstairs so that I'm not tempted to overeat them so there are your three strategies I would love to hear from you I would love to hear from you how you're doing this is not an easy time um, really challenging for many of us so how are you going to handle the holiday tomorrow we are here for you we care about you we are thinking about you I'm Sarah together with Becky we are faithful finish lines and we are here to support you to um, provide a grace-filled um, Bible based place where you can lose weight, get to your goal weight and stay there for a lifetime. Take care guys. Bye-bye.